My name is Jennifer Espiriqueta. I am a mother of two, a second and a fifth grader in Leander ISD. I'm here to implore you to change the math teaks that are aligned with Common Core. My son is in fifth grade and we really got to see the changes take place with him in third grade. Math has gone from his favorite subject to one he's completely bored with. He feels like he never learns anything new. We have struggled with him having answers counted wrong that are actually correct, but he did not do the strategy that they wanted in the required way. He tires of spending all their time on number lines, having to show strategies, and explaining the answers for even the most obvious of math problems. He's smart enough to question content like, why are they spending all their time creating maps and learning distances and kilometers, regardless of what is used globally, it is not useful to him in the United States. His pace math class is no longer the challenge it once was for him. With little to no difference between regular and pace math, there is no longer the opportunity there once was for him to excel. His math grade has actually suffered because he has just mentally checked out. I want him to have the proper foundation to reach his goal of becoming a computer engineer. I'm concerned current math teaks will put him behind in reaching this goal. My second grader loves school and learning and excels in every subject. She enjoys completing traditional math workbooks in the summer. I have actually seen her regress in math with all the focus on these strategies. I realized this when we were doing her math homework. A question asked her, what was two more than a number? I tried to verbally ask her, what was two more than five? What was two more than four? Something she could easily do before. She became very upset and could no longer do it because she was so obsessed with having to draw these pictures and diagrams to show how this was done. We also feel in a way that our relationship has changed at the school as a regular school mom. Before it had amazing relationships with my teachers and they were honest about these changes and we went through the struggles with them as they tried to learn these changes as well. This year, I've had a teacher who told me we don't use Common Core and even our own principal who said she didn't know what Common Core was and didn't understand how the teaks were aligned with them. I was also a parent on our site-based planning committee and when we reviewed the parent school surveys, when there was parent frustration at the condescending nature they received when questioning it, when it was listed on teacher feedback, the teachers were saying they just didn't know how to do it, so we just don't understand. The research is on solid footing. We do understand. I've also seen changes as a regular volunteer where we don't feel as welcome in the classroom, like parents don't know what's best for our kids. We do. Please help parents not to feel shut out from our children's education. Thank you. Members, any questions? Uh, Mr. Marshall? I just want to repeat again. You're saying that he, your son was frustrated because two things. Uh, his answers were answered correctly but counted wrong because... If they didn't feel he used the proper strategy. Once I started talking to the teacher about it, she said, well, he didn't use this strategy correctly and it would be a strategy that like a, maybe the teacher from the year before would give them or it would be a shortcut method and maybe that would, wouldn't be okay with this other teacher. So we've run into some of that stuff because you know he, he doesn't like spending a lot of time on that stuff if it's something that comes quick to him. So what in speed and accuracy, and, like and, he required on the test, how you know, speed and accuracy was how the process then? I mean, if, if you don't have the strategy, then even if your answer's right, you're gonna get it wrong. You have to you have to show your work, and they. I mean, he's been frustrated too because a lot of times they have to show a strategy and then write a sentence to explain their answer as well. It, have you ever seen what happens if you use the right strategy but get the wrong answer? I haven't. No. <laughs> Thank you. Then we'll have to try that one. Miss Miller. Uh, we've been listening to all these other teachers who say, "Hey, really great. We're doing wonderful." What is your teacher of your child? 
You know, it's funny because it varies so much. Um, the, the best experience he had with math was actually the first year we had in third grade. And she was very honest that, hey, some of this is great. And, and I honestly wish they would go back to because she said in the beginning they could pick and choose what worked and supplement. And she said, hey, I love this or this doesn't really work. I'm not crazy about this. But it was harder, I think, when they were forced into using all these strategies. But when they could pick these and say, hey, I really like this, let me use that one, and it was supplemental, um, to me that's so much better. Um, but this year he does have a teacher, and that's what we've struggled with, that her focus is definitely the strategies, and this has been his most difficult year, and he has not enjoyed math this year at all. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much.